GCSE Computer Science Paper 2 Question 1 So we've sat down at our computer We're given our PLS Our Programming Language Subset And we're given a set of files That contain incomplete code The code tells us to create variables, constants uh, Modify uh, strings call libraries import functions etc so when we look at the first screen the first thing we're asked to do this is what you'll see uh, a key point here is this code has been run and if you look at the bottom left it says syntax error invalid syntax so that red text in addition to line number five which is a hashtagged comment which means it's not read by the interpreter it tells us to complete this line to import the random library and line 6 is actually in blue and this is a keyword but it's telling you to import and it's saying import the random library we're lost what do we do so one thing you can do at this stage is look at your PLS and on page 10 of the PLS you find random module import the random module so all you need to do to answer this very first part of the first question is type random in lower case import random imports the random library line number 12 it says create an integer, integer variable named role and set it to zero now I'm not going to go into too much detail about variables but this is a very basic skill that you would learn there are different forms of writing variables you've got camel case and you've got snake case but for the details of what camel case and snake case variables are you can go to the resources that I've given in the description of this video all we do is we make our variable and we assign it using the equal symbol to zero part two of question one done and now we move to part uh, three of question one so now it says create a constant named sides and set it to six now a constant is different in, from a variable in the sense that it's all capital letters and it doesn't vary it's fixed it stays fixed so this is similar to uh, creating a variable but we simply do or we simply create sides all capitals is assigned six that's our constant created part three done now we assign the result of this library call to the variable role so the variable we already created called role now has to generate a random integer for us and this is present on page 10 of the PLS because that explains to us if we can read that it says returns a random integer x so that a less than or equal to x which is less than or equal to b all that means is a random integer will be generated x and it will be between what you put in a and b if we wanted to generate a float and that would be between the ranges of 0, 0.0 and 1.0 then we wouldn't need to use the two values of a and b it would return a float number with those values randomly that's how you answer the question that's how it's uh, completed the complete code looks like this and if we take out all of the comments and we take out all of the um, extra lines it's only about five lines of code here uh, but what it's doing is it's importing a library, setting a variable and a constant, assigning the variable, and then printing out the result. That is the end of question one. That's how you do it. You would save this document, and you would save it in the appropriate folder, and you would get full marks for that. Now we will go to an extension. extension this is not part of the question one 
but it is something that's found on paper one that's quite in interesting. So if you look at question five, uh, 5C on paper one, this is from the 2020 uh, specification. It says, programmers can use all capitals to show the value that a uh, to show that a value is a constant. So that's what we just did in our code just a second ago. So here we have line number three, max underscore capacity is assigned 120. That is a constant because it's all in capitals. And then you've got line five, num adult assigned 14. That there is a variable. And the question that's asked of us is, explain one reason why programmers use signals indicating a value as a constant rather than repeating the same fixed value throughout an algorithm. So the official answer that's given on the mark scheme is the follow, following. Constant, and it's actually telling you that it's shown all in capitals because constants are separate to variables, are less likely to be changed by accident or error. That would be one mark. So algorithms that use them would be more or should be more robust. Full two marks. Two points two marks. Or you could have said, if a value of a constant does not have to be altered, um, if the value of a constant does have to be altered, only one change is required on the line where it's created and set. So it's something that prevents redundancy. You only have to change the constant once, and once that constant is changed, it will be changed throughout the whole of your program. So a justification and a reason given, two marks. Or you could have said, constant allow values to be replaced with a name identifier. Uh, so code is easier to read and maintain. Uh, a justification and an explanation, two full marks. A further extension. Our original code uh, de dealt with quite clearly what would have been a cube, because the constant was sent, set to six, six sides. And again, this is extension. This has nothing to do with the question, but it's all good computing and mathematics. So there are fa five main platonic solids, and this is a picture of them. If we know that we can change our constant to any number that we wish, we would now be able to accommodate all of the platonic solids. We could have tetrahedrons, octahedrons, dodecahedrons, icosahedrons, and we could do that in computing um, with these regular uh, solids and there would be no problem for us. So this is where code is be uh, this is where code is useful for all sorts of activities and all sorts of applications. Stay tuned for question two.